Welcome to the basic classrooms operation tutorial for Bryant University. Although there are several uniquely designed classrooms, such as the lecture hall and many of the Bellow classrooms, for the most part they are all very similar in form and function. Today, we will be reviewing the standard classroom setup that is in most of the classrooms in the unit structure. Upon entering the classroom, it is important to note the location of the light controls. Although most of the lights in the classrooms are connected to a motion sensor and will turn on when there is movement in the classroom, you may at some point during the class wish to raise or lower the lights to enable a better viewing of course material. There is a master on-off switch for the lights located near the main entrance of the classroom. If the lights do not turn on when you enter the classroom, check there to ensure that the switch is on. The second set of light controls is located near or behind the teacher's podium. Most of these switches are dimmer switches, which can be used to slightly lower or raise the level of light in the classroom to provide optimum light levels for viewing various in-class materials. Once you have adjusted the lights to your liking, the next step is to turn on the audiovisual system. The system is controlled by a touch screen located on the teacher's podium. The touch screen is often referred to its manufacturer's name, the Crestron. The first step to using the touchscreen is to touch the main viewing window to wake it up. Once activated, the touchscreen will prompt you with two options. The first is audio only. This option will not turn on the projector or display any video. The primary use for this option is playback of music or podcasts while leaving the front of the classroom open for use of whiteboards or roll down maps. The second option, and the one that the system is primarily used for, is audio and video. This option should be selected when the instructor wishes to display any video, whether it is a PowerPoint, video, a web page, or a document displayed on the document camera. With either of these selections, the system will enter a warm-up period for about 90 seconds. During this period, all of the devices will turn on and power up. In order to prevent electrical overload or damage the electronics, no audio-visual functions can be performed during this time. While the system is warming up, take the opportunity to turn on any device that you plan on using during class. Most devices in the room are connected to the audio-visual system, but not directly controlled by it. As such, they must be turned on individually. These devices include, but are not limited to, the podium computer, the document camera, the DVD player, or any user-connected device such as a laptop or PowerPoint advancer. If you are displaying video, the last step of prepping the room for your class is to ensure that the projection screen has come down. Some of the screens are directly connected to the system and will come down the moment the system is turned on. As we systematically upgrade the classrooms, more and more of the rooms will have this feature. If the screen has not come down, you will need to locate the screen control switch, which is located behind or next to the teacher's podium, usually directly next to the light switch. Press the switch into the fold down position to lower the screen. Once the system is warmed up and the lights are set to your liking, all that remains is to select the source that you wish to display on the touchscreen. For a more detailed explanation of various audio and visual devices in the classrooms, including the touchscreen, please refer to other tutorial videos on this page. One final note, a classroom with the full audio-visual system running uses a great deal of electrical energy. In order to reserve the equipment and cut energy costs, please remember to turn off the system and any devices used when the class is finished. For questions or concerns, please feel free to contact the audio-visual department at extension 6128. We will be happy to answer any of your questions or send one of our student technicians to your aid. Thank you for watching this tutorial video and stay tuned and subscribe for more.